sometimes you can receive more than you bargain for. One of the cool things about this scenario is that it does give you the option to set up in a position where you can actually be facing away from your opponent, i.e. like this. So that when we begin the battle, you can run away like a cur with a tail between its legs. And our boys uh, all started up on this ridge line uh, along here. And when I looked at this, I thought, you know what? <sighs> Both uh, in order to be 100% you know, certain that I achieve a victory as the Greek uh, alliance, the Spartans and Greeks and Thebians and all those good guys all together, I really don't want to rely on the historical fact that they won. I want to make sure that they win. And I want to make it as difficult as possible for the Persians. So I decided to retreat everybody back to where, if you recall listening to the histories, there was a group of Greeks, uh, basically this force here, that had got that had become lost during the night and ended up at the walls of Plataea, which is right there. So as they moved forward, these folks, the Athenians and the Spartans, moved back. And they were far enough away and with the river in between them, <clears throat> that they were able to uh, set up in a fairly nicely defensive position, which is all well and good, except they're taking 10 turns to do that. And nothing's died except for a handful of dinky little skirmishes. So uh, I'm uh, fast approaching my uh, frustration point with the scenario because of the way that I've played it. And it's been incredibly tedious to keep track of all of these little Persian pecker heads here and keep track of, uh, <clears throat> you know, keep them in some semblance of order, not have them route from being uh, so broken up going over all this terrain and streams and up and down freaking hills and taking uh, cohesion hits. I've had to stop along the way and recover. So it's taken a lot of turns to get to this point. So all I can tell you now is we're going to have some one big old can of, as they say in Texas, a big old can of whoop ass opened up and we are going to have a hell of all fights. I had thought very strongly about conducting a preemptive attack over on the left flank where the Athenians are in great shape behind the river, locked shields, ready to defend themselves from barrages of arrows. But I was thinking about unlocking these guys and, you know, doing a preemptive attack across here. Uh, we could really mess up some units there and, and kick up the route point accumulation level pretty high, particularly given that the Persians have just kept moving these guys up, accumulating uh, uh, cohesion hits as they go up and down the hills and have not recovered yet. They recovered uh, a little bit over here. But uh, some units are actually fairly fragile. Pretty interesting uh, situation there. But I fear that I would uh, quickly be engulfed by this horde of uh, crossbows, and not crossbows, uh, composite bow arm for all guys. Anyway, we might do something funky there, I don't know, but uh, this has got to be the turn. Now, from the Persians' perspective, they're bringing all of their uh, javelin armed light infantry and screening off this side, and they're going to bring the crossbows over here and just pepper these weaker units here. They're all fives and sixes here. They're going to pepper them with, uh, with, uh, with arrows, and then I've got a small handful of medium infantry back in here that will try and pick a juicy target and attack. Same here, we've got medium infantry in two groups and we're letting all the archers come forward as best we can, three groups actually, and uh, <clears throat> try and load up as many hits on the Spartans as we can and then either A, take momentum or, uh, you know, God forbid we actually try and trump on a uh, three, but uh, try and get a get into position here to attack these guys in some way, shape or form uh, that will be effective. So anyway, that's the plan. We'll see what happens. Uh, off we go next.